Hey guys, it's me again, Jessica. Thank you for coming back to my channel and watching this video. I'm so excited because today is going to be something new that I've never done before. It's going to be a vlog. Um, and this is me before I go out. I'm about to go out to eat at this new vegan restaurant called By Chloe. It is by the famous chef Chloe who won Cupcake Wars and she's the only vegan that has ever, ever won Cupcake Wars. So very, very, very exciting. Um, it just opened in Boston. It is very famous in Los Angeles and I didn't get to go when I was there. So now that it's in Boston, I am just so unbelievably excited. They have tons of locations in New York as well. And this is their first location in Boston. They will be having another location near Fenway Park. That's coming soon. But for now, this location, the first one and the only one as of right now in February 2017, is in the Seaport District. So I'm going to make my way over there. I never really go there. I never really um, go to that part of Boston or really Boston in general. I just don't really have the time to, but whenever I'm there, I love it. So I'm very excited. I am going with my boyfriend, Mike. So you might see him in this video. If not, you will see him in another video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoy this vlog. <laughs> Bye. everyone so I just realized that I didn't summarize my experience with by Chloe so that's what I'm gonna do now it is um, a week after I went there we ordered a ton of food just so I can come on here and tell you guys what I thought about each thing that we ordered so basically um, service wise when you walk in um, we picked a really good day to go. We picked a Sunday to go and it did just open very, very recently. So it's been extremely busy and I think personally that it's going to be busy there all the time. So we picked a good day to go. It was on a Sunday night and it was not crowded. There was a little bit of a line, but it was nothing compared to what I've been seeing on social media. So that was really good. Um, if you're in the area, I would recommend going on a Sunday. We ordered our food, you go up and you order what you want and then they call your number, you go pick it up and you seat yourself. And so we waited and it did not take very long for our food to come out, which was awesome. But however, when we sat down at our table, we, um, unpacked our bag they give it to you in a bag I saw some people had trays I don't know if you have to ask for trays or, or what happens with that but um we did not get a tray we got a bag with all of our stuff in it and I also ordered a cupcake on the side which um, Chloe is known for and let me tell you it was to die for um, 
I got the raspberry tiramisu cupcake and it had like a jelly filling in the inside of it and it was just amazing. <laughs> so if you go there, I would highly recommend that specific cupcake. Um, their cookies were really, really good too. We actually got those two for free because get this is what I'm getting into. Um, they messed up our order, not once, but twice. Um, we had ordered two guac burgers, which is like one of their number one things, one of their most popular um, items on the menu. So we ordered two of those. We ordered fries. We ordered the um, spinach and artichoke dip or kale and artichoke dip. I don't remember if it's kale or spinach, but it was mind-blowing. It was out of this world. Before I went vegan, actually my favorite thing in the entire world was spinach and artichoke dip. So to finally have a spinach and artichoke dip that is just as good as what I am used to is just so amazing. So I would highly, highly recommend that. And um, we also got the mac and cheese with the mushroom bacon. And the mushroom bacon is so crazy. Like it tastes just like bacon. And that being said, my whole life I've always hated bacon. Like, I just never liked it. I always thought that it was just gross and, like, I hated the texture of it. It's like eating a dog treat or something, to me at least. Um, and it pretty much is. But anyway, this bacon was so good. So, so good. So not only did it taste like bacon to people who had liked bacon before, which was Mike, um, it tasted better than, the, than bacon in my opinion. So... Yeah, I was very happy with the mushroom bacon. The mac and cheese I thought was so-so. I wasn't a huge fan of it, but Mike said that it was one of the best mac and cheeses he's ever had. So I think it's totally preference and what you're used to. That being said, the guac burger was so, so good. And that was actually so filling in itself that I couldn't even eat anything else at the time. So the only thing that I ate at that restaurant was the guac burger. Everything else I took home and I ate the next day for leftovers. And I was so happy that I had them. Yeah, so that burger is unbelievably filling. And I had a few fries with it. And that's, that's, that's all I ate there. The next day... I ate my cupcake and it was out of this world. It was so good. Like I'm craving it just even speaking about it right now. And I also had the mac and cheese and the, and the rest of the bacon. I was nibbling at the bacon pieces on top of the mac and cheese at the restaurant and I had some left. So I do wish that they put more of that mushroom bacon on it, but, um, I still ate the mac and cheese. It just like wasn't my favorite thing. And then I ate the cookies and the cookies were so phenomenal. They were so, so good. So I'd highly recommend the cookies also. But the overall experience was really good. I loved the atmosphere of the place. They had like little swings that you can sit on at the front of the restaurant and they had little tables anywhere. They're community tables so more than one person sits at some of them. Like little groups can sit at them. There were a lot of um there were a few business meetings there I saw. Um it is in the seaport district which is like growing phenomenally for businesses right now. It's really, really good market to be in. Um so, yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of business lunches there. I just wish that they didn't screw up our order twice. I don't know. I just, like, it's not that hard <laughs> to get somebody's order right, and it was just kind of a little bit irritating and not the greatest of first impressions. So, um, I definitely think that they have to work on getting people's orders right from what I, from my personal experience. I don't know about anyone else. I'm speaking for myself. So first impression was a service was not that great. Um, the atmosphere was amazing. I love the modern layout of the place. The food is really, really good. Um, yeah, so overall I had a really good experience there and I would totally go back. Just make sure that you check the bag like before you sit down and make sure that all your food's in it. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, I hope you really enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I hope it wasn't too boring. I've never done a vlog before. This is my first, so I am learning on how to edit them. Um, I'm not the craziest, uh, most 
educated editor in the world, so um, just bear with me, very simple editing, but I hope that it gets the point across for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.